What's good, everyone, and welcome back to the Find Your Fork channel. We're on our free money list series number one, talking about income growth strategies part two. We're going to go over how to apply short term and long term investment strategies to your portfolio. So, this is going to be a shorter video. So, grab your notebooks, buckle up, hands and feet inside the right at all times. Let's go, let's just money. So short term investments are investment periods under a year. OK, and that same capital can be used to rotate shares to earn dividends during both the cycle of the fiscal year and the calendar year. Um, prior to a dividend payment, buying income generating stocks on technical analysis confirmation can be a smart move because technical signals correspond to high levels of buyer uh, support or demand. Right. Um, since dividends are frequently purchased when a share is you know deemed overvalued uh, especially you know if there's a technical analysis signal supporting you know a rise in share price the levels frequently result in larger than usual moves in the positive direction so in the days before the x dividend date the share price usually increases okay so investors frequently buy shares with a growth focus uh, for short periods of time. And this tactic can be effective if the purchase choice is made with sound reasoning from either technical analysis or fundamental analysis. Um, there is no set rule for how long you must be invested in a growth focused short term trade. So the length of time in investment uh, or investor is in that trade can range from a few hours to a few months okay the many moving parts can make decisions based on you know fundamental analysis a little slower to act upon but that doesn't make them any less significant right so any purchase decisions based on fundamental analysis with a short-term perspective are unlikely to react quickly because the investment window will range from three months to 12 months okay top down in sector analysis are frequently the sources of purchasing uh, strategies that are growth oriented. Um, so it's understandable why these investments have, uh, you know, has been on the market for, you know, longer periods of time, given the importance uh, that economic and business business cycles have in both, you know, uh, have, you know, both analysis techniques. OK, uh, positive results from, you know, individual companies analysis can take a while to materialize right and this is a result as uh, this is a you know as a result of should i say shareholders seeing value in a share when businesses and uh you know economic cycles are examined there is a great you know deal of commentary and you know a large number of investors looking for potential signals and you know or value um, but the number of investors looking at individual company you know analysis is much smaller okay so the quickest route to a desired income for an investor may be through the use of technical analysis right so any projected moves are based on historical chart data because timing is an essential you know component of technical analysis okay uh, these signals can take the form of you know a candlestick or chart patterns you know support or resistant levels you know technical indicators uh, you know, price action, all of which provide, you know, crucial information about, you know, the next move of a share. OK, now, long term investments are those made with a uh, with a view longer than three years. You know, although 12 months would, you know, would be regarded as the you know minimum investment period, the maximum investment horizon for long term investments really has no set time period and you know can be measured you know in years or even in decades okay now for investors who are solely focused on income over the long term a variety of investment options are available to help them you know achieve their goals you know due to their security term deposits with uh, longer you know uh, maturities are very well liked you know but as we you know you know, as we will discover, uh, you know, in the following sections, this comes at the expense of investment returns. OK, so government and corporate bonds are typically regarded as excellent investment, you know, vehicles for, you know, investments. Uh, 
with an investment horizon longer than three years, depending on the required return. OK, so with some American uh, Treasury bonds, an investor has an unlimited amount of time to plan. Right. So due to their capacity to produce income through dividends and long term capital growth, equity investments can be added to this type of portfolio. OK, so investors who purchase a purchase and hold, you know, high quality shares, you know, uh, typically achieve their desired, you know, uh, you know, income uh, outcomes because these stocks really have their dividend schedule dramatically changed, even though the rise and fall of a you know, shares uh, value can, you know, vary uh you know, long holding period. So given that the share, you know, typically increase in value over time, shareholders benefit from the longer, uh, longer term investment period in terms of capital growth. Okay. So using both fundamental and technical analysis can be advantageous if your investment strategy is growth oriented and you have, you know, long term uh, horizon. So due to the number, or should I say the, the numerous uh, moving parts, you know, as we discussed in the previous module, decisions based on fundamental analysis can occasionally take a little longer to make, you know, uh, than the, you know, than they might otherwise. You know, however, this can be advantageous for long term investments because the slower momentum is frequently maintained for longer periods of time. You know, economic and business cycles are more important in, you know, uh, longer term investments because of how long they are, you know, how they are on average, right? You know, it's crucial to know that, or should I say to know where each cycle is in relation to the, you know, the, the other when developing a long-term strategy, because this could have a significant impact on the investments chosen and the timing, uh, you know, of their rotation for the best growth potential. The analysis of each individual company is crucial for this kind of investment strategy. It can sometimes take a little while for the public to recognize results in uh, company performance. So it might take some time to establish when companies, you know, with strong performance and results are uh, discovered before the general market momentum develops and, you know, may persist for long periods of time, resulting in extremely strong and sustained growth for investors who discovered them first right so the long-term support and resistance levels in the market are typically identified using technical analysis and this is a great place for traders to start you know when uh, expanding their long-term portfolio okay uh, you know many markets have used uh, longer term support zones as entry points because they offer a uh, a strong base from which traders can start a position okay so to locate profitable entry points into the market technical analysis tools like chart patterns and indicators and, and price action uh can be used you know uh, always enter investments at the best level that is currently available when investing for the longer term right an investor has a good chance of maximizing, you know, capital growth as a result of reducing the possibility of uh, drawdowns that may happen when purchasing at random price points. Okay, this finishes up our second portion of the free money list series number one, income generating strategies. In the third portion of series number one, we will talk about portfolio construction, where we teach you how you can glitch the money by creating a portfolio that is designed around a trader's investment goals while maintaining the right level of risk exposure. This is Bradley Barnett. I love y'all from yours truly, Financial Four.